All right, so this is a job where the customer actually ripped this wall out. And uh, it's a great example of showing where to seal. So I'm going to take this as before, and I'm going to seal it up, and I'll take an after. But just to point out some stuff that you want to deal with when you can, um, this house was built in the 50s. And if you can see down here, the diagonal line, uh, that is the old uh, flooring. Um, before there was uh, OSB or plywood, they just ran uh, floorboards diagonally to give the house some racking strength. Uh, so those spots need to get dealt with. Uh, there needs to be a bead of foam put all the way along here. Also, this right here is called a bottom plate. That's at the floor. And you want to seal where the bottom plate touches the wall and also all the way around these. The only areas you're really concerned about are where the, uh, uh, the sheathing uh, seams are, but we don't know where those are at this point. They could be just about anywhere, so you just hit all of them. It's not that much work. And then any penetrations coming through, like this electric line right here, needs to get hit as well. Um, now you can do this work with either a caulk or a foam, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. The foam's probably faster. Um, but uh, uh, it gives you kind of an idea.